Howdy, howdy, it's Trisha Lee, and I'm super excited to uh, welcome you from the Red Rock Resort in Las Vegas to a video 80, 97 of my 100 videos in 72 hour challenge. And in this video, I just want to describe to you the five ways in which um, one of these domestic abuse situations can end. Um, the first way that um, one of these relationships may come to an end is that the abuser realizes that there is a problem and enters an intensive counseling program and the relationship continues without the abuse, which is the number one most awesomest way that it could possibly turn out and very seldom, unfortunately, is the way that it actually turns out. The second way that an abusive relationship will end is that um, the abusive um, partner, um, if there are children involved, will um, stop abusing the partner and turn their abuse on the children which is just horrible horrible to think about so if you have kids and you're in an abusive relationship um, the abuse may turn away from you and start to be um, uh, targeted towards your children and you don't want that so it's time to get out um, the third way that an abusive relationship can end is that um, the victim will attempt to rectify the situation um, by punishing themselves and ultimately committing suicide, which is so sad to think that there's people out there that would take their own lives because they've just been beat down so hard and so much that they don't see any other way out. The fourth way that um, these abusive ended um, relationships can end is that the victim <laughs> gets fed up with the abuse and um, turns into the abuser and actually kills the abuser. And there's um, probably a lot of men and women behind bars right now um, on a murder rap because they were just abused to the point where they couldn't take it anymore and they finally um, put an end to the abuse by killing their abuser. And the fifth way, which is the way I escaped abuse, is um, by the victim coming to understand that they do not deserve this treatment, that nobody deserves this treatment. And they seek out help, usually from law enforcement, um, to uh, separate themselves from the abuser. Um, they can seek help from a woman's shelter to escape the abuse, from sometimes from friends and family, can uh, provide enough sort, uh, support for the victim to uh, get free from the abuse. And so uh, the first way obviously is the best way that you could possibly have a resolution to an abusive relationship. The fifth way is also empowering and it's good. It's sad when love dies. It's so sad whenever love dies. But if there's abuse within a love relationship, it's not real true love. And I speak from experience being in a, a truly loving relationship now that there is some, someone better out there for you. Someone that will respect you and love you truly without any abuse. So <laughs> stay tuned for the next video. Go out there and have an amazing day. And if I don't see you, or, and I want everybody to know that as bad as it might seem right now, I am a firm believer that absolutely anybody in this life can be, do, and have anything they want. Or we can have everything we want. And I choose everything, and I hope you will too, because you can. So ask me how. And if I don't see you in the future, I'll see you out in the pasture next week or on the next video. Bye, y'all.